Hello and welcome to Conversations with Deborah Franklin. I am so, so excited about tonight's show. I got my special guest, Adult Conversations crew in, in the house with me tonight. Y'all, if you ain't ready, get ready because the conversation is going to be bananas. So sit back, relax. We'll be right back in just a few moments with Motivational Moments. Listen vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, vision. All right, guys, we are back. You know, this month is our month of starting things new. We said that April, because April showers bring May flowers, so everything is in blossom. Everything is blooming. So tonight, we want to talk about your mindset being changed. You have got to want to change your mind and be more accepting in this hour because we've talked about on pre previous shows about we're in this time of shifting, we're in this time of moving forward, but guess what? If your mind doesn't change, you will still be stuck in that same place. You have got to start being more accepting of people that are around you, more accepting of situations because y'all it's even in the Bible because the Bible says in Hebrews 13 and two, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers for by the same have entered angels without knowing it. You've entertained angels without even knowing it. And you judging them because they don't look like you. They don't talk like you. They don't dress like you. They don't drive like you. They're not in the same members of the same clubs as you. But guess what? You don't know who you talking to. And it sounds like we got callers calling in already for this show. They not even, it's not even time for the call in. But I tell you, tonight's show, we are taking the binders off. We're taking everything off and we're getting ready to take it to another level. We're getting ready to talk about things that folk don't normally talk about because we are going to be more accepting. Because if you tell the truth, we all go through the same thing. We just do it a little different. And if you tell the truth, you, well, some of y'all think because you saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized with the mighty power, power, fire, that you don't have sex. You are lying. The truth ain't in you. So get your questions together. Get ready. Because this show is not going to be what you're used to. Tonight, we taking it all off. We're going to be talking about who chases who. And the thing is, you got to be accepting to the fact that some women are chasing men now. The old school way of doing things, waiting for the man to call, waiting for this to happen. A lot of people have changed their minds in that mindset. Now, you know, I'm a chick from the South, so my mind has not been changed. But I got to be accepting to the women's whose mind has been changed. Hmm. Think about that. Yeah, I'm going to let that sit right there. Ponder that. Because we want to label that woman as the hoe. We want to label that woman as the one you can't trust. We want to label that woman as somebody that's a floozy, uh, uh, a harlot. Yeah, I said all of that. But that's not her. Her mindset has just changed. She's being aggressive in every, 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 every area of her life. And you want to judge that? But yet and still, on the flip side, you want to call her when it's time for you to get your business started. On the flip side, you want to call her when you need a babysitter for your little boo-boo, your little Ray Ray. But you got to learn to be more accepting because that could be the one angel that you have kicked to the curb that could help you get delivered from the situation that you're in. But because you treated them nasty, because you weren't accepting of who they were, 
you have just missed out on some of your biggest potential and your biggest ally that you could have. So if nothing else, during this time of motivation, I want you to start thinking about who have you messed up because you nasty? Who have you messed up because you don't want to accept their lifestyle? Who do you have not accepted because they do something different than you and you being judgmental? That is something that burns my heart. There is only one judge. And who am I to judge because you are different? All right, guys, we'll be right back with you with conversations with Deborah Franklin. And my special guest will be here in the studio. Get ready for adult conversations. Joining conversations with Deborah Franklin. The number is in the address line we're gonna be taking your calls in a few few we'll be right back with you Listen vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh. Listen vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh! i 
Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh, 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 Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Conversations with Deborah Franklin. I guess you see my guests are in the building. We have, yeah, we got some guys tonight. So what I'm going to do is let everybody go through, and we'll start with the gentlemen since they are not sitting with us. They are on the stage beside us. We're going to let them introduce themselves first. Hello, hello, hello. Y'all, please uh, start praying right my now. Name, my please name is Jess right Drew, now. and I'm a co-host of Adult <laughs> Conversation. Um, I'm just cool and just happy you invited us. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you. I'm a, I'm Restricted D um, from Adult Conversation and also uh, Unrestricted Radio Show, and I am blessed to be here with you, and we were blessed to have you on our show. Oh, yeah, that was fun. That was so much fun. Yes, ma'am. I am Sunshine Aces. I'm also one of the co-hosts of Adult Conversation, and you know I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and I am Candy Ellaby Brown. I am a co-host on Adult Conversation. I am so super excited to be here. I am so super excited to have you guys here with me. Now, you see, they got real radio names. Y'all just on Conversation with Deborah Perkins. <laughs> they got real names, so you know they got street cred. I'm trying to that's get like name. them. But that's her name. <laughs> so she hang, she like me. She hanging out with the people that got the street cred, so we can get a little street cred. Because, you know, all they got to do is just say my name. I'm like, yeah, what's up? Well, guys, welcome to Conversations with Deborah Franklin tonight. Tonight's show, we're just going to take it to another level. We're just going to talk about, we're just going to talk about talk. And we're going to get some questions answered, and we're going to dive right into it. But first of all, I want them to tell you guys about their show. Their show is different. And when we talk about their show, y'all going to be like, Debra, you really went on their show? Yep, sure did. Sure did. And had, I had so much fun. So tell us, what is Adult Conversations for the listeners that may not have ever heard your show, um, even knew your show even existed? Tell them. And then, you know, how can they listen to your show? Um. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so adult conversation is something I started over a year ago. Um, it was started off as a round table where we would get together and just have a group of people sitting down talking about real life issues, dating, all type of things. And then Unrestricted D hit me up and was like, I think y'all need to be on the radio. Well, Sunshine and Drew was always my um, two biggest supporters for a round table. They always came out. They always supported. They always talked. They always, they, and then Sunshine, a boss bitch. I don't, I don't know if I can say, I'm sorry, I can say that. Sunshine Yo, runs the show. Okay, so runs get ready. Show. Get ready. There might be a few cuss words dropped I'm sorry, tonight. I'm the sorry. show going to be, you know, I told y'all I'm bringing grown folks on tonight. So we're going to have some grown folk combo. So get your, if, your ears, if you got virgin ears, just go ahead. You might want to log sorry. off and catch this later. But continue. I'm so sorry. So I had with, to get my disclaimer. So <laughs> with, with me and Unrestricted being friends for a long time and, and knowing that we were on the same mindset and Sunshine and Drew always supporting me and coming out to a round table and always talking and sharing, I knew that us four could just get together on the mic and just talk about things and not judge each other. So that's pretty much what we do. We come together once a week um, and just talk about all types of relationships. Uh, sex. <laughs> <A lot of laughs> sex. Finance. Sex. Uh -huh. Mental illness. More sex. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget my favorite. <laughs> and love. And love. And sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you know that you 
know, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about relationships. We're going to talk about some alternate relationships. But you guys brought something up that I, I even talked. I talked about this at church today. So know that I, don't, I talk about everything everywhere. You guys talked about a lifestyle. Explain the lifestyle to my <laughs> listeners. Because, you know, I'm, I'm still of the persuasion. And I'm from the South. So when you heard about said lifestyle, I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be real. You didn't think black folks was doing that. Oh, so okay. can, can y'all share about the lifestyle? Sunshine. Yeah, y'all get ready. Get ready for this one. Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was gonna be me. So. <laughs> well, the lifestyle is basically a group of open-minded people. There's a lot of levels to the lifestyle. I'm not gonna go into that. Please but, don't, because I don't yeah. think I can handle it. <laughs> I'm actually, um, I'm a nudist swinger, so I've been in the lifestyle for several years. And um, it's just open-minded people. It's a community of open-minded people. And that's the big thing. Nobody judges, so you're pretty free. Well, you're not supposed to judge, should I say. Amen. Yeah, so you're pretty free to, um, to move around with other open-minded, like-minded individuals. Okay. Anybody else want to add to that? That was so tested. Drew. I loved it. Uh, I loved that answer. That, that was an ex- uh, excellent ex- yeah. explanation on the lifestyle. Um, a lot of people have some misconceptions. So when people think about lifestyle parties, the first thing they want to say is, oh, you got to go and you got to have sex. No, you don't. However, sex is a fundamentally good part of it. Mm. Um, and and like, like Sunshine said, it's a, it's a non-judgmental environment. Well, you're free to do whatever you want to do and nobody judge you. Because at the end of the day, we all have things that we like to do, but we're afraid to do because of how we might be perceived and looked at. I agree. And I would totally agree because, and then I, I want to take it, take it one step further. What about, let's say, the professional people that are at these lifestyles? Does it encompass all different types of professions or is it just one area? You know, that's a valid question because a lot of times, even when people look at biker clubs, they never think that there are doctors and lawyers and teachers and firemen in all different walks of life at, in, in a biker club. So is this just open to... Just people in the entertainment industry, or is it what what goes on? I, 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 I disclaimer: I'm asking questions because I don't know, and then I'm asking questions that you want to know, and you just ain't been scared to ask. All right, all right. go okay. ahead. I want to say it's more um, professionals than actually entertainment. Wow. Um, from what I experienced, but like Sunshine said and Drew, it, it's about being open and being comfortable, and when you're with the so-called average everyday person vanilla you're not we being call them comfortable. like I, I have been but to they a couple hanging of, with me y'all i have been to a couple of parties and everyone has a good time mm-hmm. even if they're not engaging in sexual activity they're actually having a good time conversing networking trading information all that's good stuff I would have never thought, or, or, or you know, like I would know, I ain't never thought that, honey, that they'd be networking. So we're going to have your business card at the party. Got it? I don't know. That's <laughs> right. you know, the social, it's, it's not the social aspect is huge. Yes. Um, a lot of times I go to events, I might talk to 50 people at an event. Wow. And all I'm doing is, t- I mean, I get so caught up in the talking, that's what I do all night, is talk. And we spend a lot of time promoting the safety of it and making sure new people understand the rules and the regulations so you know what and i and i really appreciate you talking about the safety of it because so many times with so many diseases going on with so many people getting caught up but let's talk about the emotional side do people get caught up in they in they uh what they say in their feelings um lifestyle parties yeah it's just the same as a club party okay as a real life party as a house party anything any type of emotions running through you there can be running through you anywhere so you can't the only thing you can do is have good security at a party, be mm-hmm. aware of everything that's going on at a party. Everyone is still human. No matter what you try to do to combat all situations, people still have their own emotional ties to situations. So I've been to l- most lifestyle parties that have security, mm-hmm. that walk around making sure um, everything is good. When you start off, you might go as a couple. Ooh. And um, with a couple there, you might, you might have your rules and set things before you and your partner goes in, but things change when you get in there. So basically, just it's, it's like any situation. Couples have their rules. They have their regulations of what can happen, but 
once alcohol or anything ties in there, stuff can go sideways. And that's when it's important for the people who are hosting the, the event to be visual. Um, wow. Vigilant, to walk around, make sure security, asking questions, making sure everybody's all right. Um, that's, that's, that's the person who's hosting the event's job. And you know what? And I said all that to say, and I asked those questions because in this season that we're in, so many people want to judge you because of what you do, where you go, how you do it. And you know what? You just said it. We all doing the same thing, but we do it in different. So you have no reason to judge anybody. So how do y'all feel about that with the judgment, with the ju- in the judgment zone? And we getting ready to get off of this because I'm, because I want, because y'all I'm ready to have some fun. Go. Um, as far as me, I, I, I give two. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care about the judgment because, like, the first party I ever went to, which was one of Candy's parties. <laughs> you throw um, me out there. It, right. it, it, yeah. <laughs> but now, now we partners. But but the first party I ever went to, um, what I noticed was just that the freedom of it all. I mean, the whole party, they was just free doing whatever that they wanted to do in a safe capacity. Mm-hmm. Did that make sense? It makes sense. And it turned me on so much, I ain't, I ain't left since. I, the, my story was exactly the same. Okay. A friend took me to a club, and I couldn't believe the environment, the laid-back atmosphere. I never looked back. Wow. So. Wow. Well, y'all, y'all have heard it from them. If you're ready to experience it, that's on you. If you don't, <laughs> that's still on you. We're going to be right back with some more Hot Topics on Conversation with Deborah Franklin. Listen, vision, listen, vision, listen, vision, listen, vision, DC's number one recording studio. Oh, oh. Conversations. Well, guys, they were being so politically correct in that last segment. But this next segment, I want they go, they probably gonna get real real and this might get a tad bit raw. So get ready. And if you got questions, make sure that you call in because we want to hear from you guys. The number to 443-454-3751. Call in. We want to hear from you. Tonight we are taking calls right here on Conversations with Deborah Franklin. Now since y'all were talking about love and since you were talking about relationships, I want to ask this question because we all grown. Who should chase who? Should we start with the men? I like it. I need to know first before I answer. Before- <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start I don't want to come on Porsche. We're going to start with unrestricted. Oh, since I have to pick one. <laughs> um, they never said you had to pick. Oh, that's true. Never, you know? So I'm going to say this. Okay. Whoever has the most interest in the other. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Okay. So it wouldn't turn you off if a woman started not at all. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to get it. I'm not supposed to go not there at yet. All. all right? So not at all. It don't matter for you. All right? Nope. Drew? I don't, I don't think anybody is supposed to chase anybody. Hmm. If there's a mutual attraction, you know what I mean? Just don't play games and, and play that hard to get shit. That, shit <laughs> that's, that stuff is old. You understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. State that you like somebody and let the chips fall where they may. Okay, I'm going to definitely come back to that because I, I like where you were going. Yes, ma'am, ladies. Um, I'm not chasing no that nigga. I'm not gonna even gonna lie. No, no, I'm not. No. Gonna, I'm not gonna chase him. I will. Not me. Nah, no. Well, if, if you show interest in me, then I will show interest in you, and we can play this mind game back and forth. But if I have to chase you, I'm, it ain't gonna happen. Okay. I'm way too busy to chase anybody. Woo! If you even wanna talk to me, you're gonna have to come after me. I love it. I love it because I had brought, you know, y'all know I brought it up with some other good folks and they said, I ain't chasing nobody because I'm old school. Well, y'all, y'all know that's the way I feel because I'm a good Southern chick. And from chicks from the South, well, real women from the South, real Southern bells. And I, and because my mama would kill me if she ever thought I was running after anybody. What you got your little wide nose open for some Negro? If he can't come to you, then you, why are you trying to roll up all over him? But. Drew said something that I want us to really deal with. He said, don't be playing games. If you're both showing interest in each other, so why do we play the games? People dumb as a bag of rocks. (laughs) Okay. I'm not going to just say that. I think that you need to fill someone out. Because I might show interest in you, but you might not be receiving it. So, and I don't think you might be receiving it, but I think you're not receiving it. So I might start playing games or doing stuff to see if you feel the way I feel. Because one, I don't want to be hurt by you. I don't want my feelings hurt. Right. So if I'm showing interest and I start chasing you and you ig me, then that's going to really hurt me. But But it's easier for me to pretend like I don't want you when I really do. Okay. I mean, some women definitely like the chase, though. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, Drew's they absolutely do? right. Yeah. Man, that's... That, see, that's that's why a bunch of people end up alone far longer than they have to be because of the, the cat and mouse game. At the end of the day, once a, dude, if, once a dude try to holler at you, if you think he's cute and you unattached, right, give him some phone time. You understand what I'm saying? Give him some meetup at a restaurant time. But don't... All, this the games that they play, and I'm telling you, women lie like a motherfucker nowadays too. <laughs> I, I, I also want to say I think a lot has to do with people past. Okay. So if they've been hurt from the past, if they've been the pursuer, they don't want to pursue later on down the line. So. Yeah. Okay, I definitely can dig it because I know I don't want to set myself up to be hurt. I don't want to set myself up to be in that situation. But then what happens when? You're not used to the game or you don't know how to flirt because I'm so sick and tired of the one where I ain't know you like me like that. So how, how you know, you know the conversation, the, the, the dumb stuff that people be doing. You know, we grown. So what you got to do? Put up a big sign and post it on your face and do all that stuff? What do we have, you know? I'm single. Y'all help me. Can I say this? Please yeah, and good. thank you. As a dude, I'm dumb. <laughs> we right? know. As a dude, I'm dumb. So, okay. A lot, and I tell I tell women when I meet them, right? Because I'm always truthful with women at this stage in my life. Because I don't I don't want anybody um, hating me or resenting me because they think I lied to them. But at, at the end of the day, I tell them I say, listen, I am not no a mind reader. I ain't good with picking up the clues. If it's something you want me to know, you better tell me, or it might get lost in the shuffle. You know what I mean? And I can dig it. What what you? Y'all gonna get ready to say something? I, I forgot I'm a, what I was gonna say. I'm gonna say this. Okay. I'm a little guilty. I do know when they are throwing the lines. Um, my problem is I be trying to catch them, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what gets me in trouble. Um, when the extra interest mm-hmm. is out there, and I'm taking this one and taking that one and taking that one. Well, I got to say, I'm not good at throwing lines. I'm like, if you, I'm, I'm like black and white. You got to come, just come direct. But then it's like you meet so many people, especially that don't even know how to have a real conversation with you. So mm-hmm. how, how do we deal with that? Even you know, it we we that age. What do we do? I need you I, to be able to form a complete sentence to even talk to me. What a concept! I can't, I can't take it. Yeah. Like the messages that we were just talking about this. I get W Y D and I H R U. I can't do it. What is H R U anyway? How are how you? How are you? And but but I'm saying that because we grown. You yeah, know how to talk. It. 
I can't take it. <laughs> but we in the yeah. information I mean, age. Yeah. yeah. I mean, whatever. For me, it, it's it's when I met the guy that I'm dealing with now, we we started off arguing. Like we I were love it. so like not getting along. And it I didn't even know we, even though we were hanging out, I didn't even know he liked me like that. So until we had sex, and so then I knew he liked me. <laughs> Maybe you just grew on him. <laughs> This maybe grew on him. What, was he? Uh, was he has not quite sure how to go like with that one, but we are gonna keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I didn't pick up on. I knew, I knew we were cool. I th- I knew we were friends. Right. But I didn't know he liked me like that. Right. I just thought he was an asshole, and we were hanging out, and we were friends. You but, can actually research like how to how to go about if you want to date someone. Like okay. just like we Google everything. So that why not so Google crazy. like the best way to approach a woman or the best way to approach? Because that ain't black people stuff. That's white yeah. people stuff. Well, okay, right. my white half is saying it. Is that okay? But you know, the best way to approach someone is to actually get to know what they like and about them. I think a lot of times we try to assume from, for instance, if we see their posts, we try to figure them out off their posts versus trying to actually get to know them. Well, social media actually is not a dating site. Like well, Facebook. No, it actually is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It's turning it is. into it. I know, but it's not meant to be that. Right. That's not it's, what it's for. Social media is meant to socialize. Whether you date, whether you network, whether you start your business, whether you have your radio show, it's social media is really supposed to replace life. A, opposed to you going out to meet someone, you're supposed to meet them online. But unfortunately, when you're... Um, conversating with people, you don't know how to talk to them. Um, you rather just send them a dick picture, and you think oh. that's chasing me. No, <laughs> yeah, she that grosses that, me that, out. That's not gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't that that's not, I'm just I'm not ready for that. Huh? Yeah, that happens more often than not. Mm-hmm. Right. And Even and if like, someone says, like, "Now, can I send you a picture?" I'm like, "Of what? Like, don't send me anything <laughs> that but, but, I didn't." And it's, it's crazy that you got the preface. <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna let y'all do that to us, man. Because. <laughs> Like if if it wasn't for if it wasn't for um, these adult these adult groups on Facebooks and these adult sites for the lifestyle, dudes would before these groups, but nobody getting no dick pics. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they were. After after some conversation, this not off the break. Oh, okay. okay. I agree. I get conversation you. Conversation came first, then. Then yeah, then yeah. you start seeing right. other people's anatomy on video. Yes. Mm-hmm. But if I'm but if if I'm in a sex group, then then to me it's all right to drop a dick pic unsolicited. No, it's Come not. Come on, it's I'm, I'm not. saying theoretically. No. Oh, you I'm mean that's you. what's in someone's mind? I mean, mind. I agree with you because it's a form of advertisement. Just because okay. I'm not quite Wait, sure what we're advertising. I don't know, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> like where did we just like, go? What happened? <laughs> Are you are you paying that advertising rate to do that? Hey, hey, you got a nice car. Oh Ooh, yeah, uh huh. Oh, wow. Well, this, you this know is what? what I have to deal with. But I wanted to, but you know, I think I think for women, especially women that are in the entertainment industry that are really trying to break out and really trying to do some things, I think you get tired of it because you approach somebody, let's say, to be a guest on your show or you know, send in information, and the next thing you know, the, the conversation gets twisted, and really and truly, you really didn't want to be on the show. You really wanted to do something else, and that gets so old. So, ladies, how can and gentlemen, how can we start weeding through that? You know, how can we start just getting to the meat of it? Is it does it mean that we just need to be more honest and asking questions? What? How do we do this? I, I asked immediately, like, what are you looking for? Because you're probably looking for something that I'm not willing to offer you. Coochie. So there's no sense in wasting that time. It's a waste of time. What did you say? <laughs> That's coochie. <laughs> All, All right, right, y'all. On that note, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it again.
Listen vision. Listen vision. Listen vision. Listen vision. Listen vision. Listen vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh. Y'all, I'm having so much fun. See, if you were see, could hear what's happening during these breaks, <laughs> you would understand. Because right now, they are being so PG-13, and I love it. I love it. I love it. It is too funny. But we're getting ready to play a clip for you. And in this clip, it's, uh, what is her name? I'm, I keep, it's Hart. It's uh, Kevin Hart's ex-wife. What's her name? I don't forgot her name, but that's her the ex-wife. She said something. Jane and uh was that yeah, Jane Doe? That's what we good. That <laughs> I be fucked good. up. Uh I forgot her name. I know it's hard. That's all I remember. Can you not if you can't find the clip, we can talk about it though. I can tell you what she said. Yeah, please she do. Yeah. To do the clip. Go ahead. It was at that moment she knew. She <laughs> fucked up. You know what? <laughs> that is not what she said. Getting, in that, getting in that man. No, I'm serious. Getting in that man way, he she it wasn't affecting her quality of life at all. Why are you bothering that man? Because he getting some extra cooch. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> was it so story? basically, the <laughs> premise behind her interview was that she that she said that it's okay for is it no? She said it's okay for the husband to cheat and have a side piece because it, 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 the woman should just accept it because all men cheat. And if he has a side piece, she might be doing something for him that she does not want to do. So that's the premise of said, uh, said interview. So how do y'all feel about that? Do all men cheat? Yes. No. I don't think so. I don't think all, I don't think all, everyone cheats. Only 95%. I don't cheat. You don't commit either. Therefore, I can't cheat. (laughs) (laughs) But realistically, though, (laughs) they they love to laugh at me, but realistically. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Coyote, thank you for watching the show. I'm just going to, let me just speak to the people. Go ahead, Drew. Y'all ain't going to do my boy Drew like that. Go ahead, Drew. (laughs) They doing it to me. But the reality of it is, if I'm in a relationship, um, infidelity is something that's, that's a real rarity. Something something like real big has to happen in, for the, in order for me to cheat. Okay, Winfrey just said, men do what women let them do. I agree. Catch that. All right. That's not true. Are we, are we, what? We a, got a discrepancy on the floor. Come a on. A male or female is going to do whatever they want to do regardless of what the other person so-called allows them to do because they are adults. Okay. Yeah. Ladies. Y'all you can only control me? yourself. Nobody can control you. Unless you allow, like you allow them to. Okay. I don't. I don't agree with that either. I think, yeah, I don't agree with the allowing uh, women allowing men to cheat. They're going to cheat regardless whether you allow them or not. But once you find out, it's what you, your next move. And I think that's where this comment falls in. What happens when you do find out? Do you stay? Do you leave? Do you accept it? Do you start cheating? What do you do? You start cheating. I think she, you know. <laughs> I think she should find her place. You know where she fits in. Okay. I mean, and what does that mean? Find her place. Like, okay. For instance, if, as you said, um, his wife was saying, if, for instance, let's say she cook and clean, but she don't like to have sex. But he knows he had a conversation with, her and the other girl loves to have sex, but she don't do them other things. So if, if she decides in other words, to you're accept to tell her it, to have a whole, uh, if she uh, decides, uh, uh, if a she de- no, if she decides to accept it, then she accepts that you know I am the house and that's the vacation home. There, there's a difference between <laughs> cheating and an open relationship. I, I agree. You're descri- I agree. What it's you're describing is an open relationship. <laughs> it's a whole fucking different if, if conversation. You're, <laughs> if you're if you're cheating, then you're doing something. You're going outside of the relationship, so that's not okay anyway. If you're not happy, then talk to the person that you're with. Figure out but what you need to do to make things but right. But see, this 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 the piece right here, man. Everybody always says, man, if you're not happy or, or what somebody ain't doing, cheating ain't got nothing to do with none of the shit that that the woman that the dude is in a relationship is doing. It has everything to do with what he wants. 
He mm. might just want some different. He might, she might don't do anal. He might want a shot of anal and go get it. But, but I'm just saying, it's 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 never really. Now, women, when y'all cheat, it's gonna be emotional. It's gonna it's be because it's yeah. something that he ain't doing. Mm. He, so then that's emotional for him. If she won't give anal, then he finds someone who gets anal. That's physical for him. But it ain't that's going. Physical. That's but, but here's the piece, though. Dude, it's, it's, that's it's, something she won't do. That he will find someone because else. Because I call but that, yeah. I do know that niggas or men. I'm sorry. Okay. Men amen. will find that one thing. You could do 100 and one justify. thing. That mm-hmm. one point. Half a percent of thing you won't fucking do, he'll go and cheat. Oh, they'll find any fucking re- a reason to. Look, you ain't stopped the roaches. <laughs> they uh, cheat. They, they, they cheat. Personal over there. We done got little fire because it's I'm, the last ten minutes mad. of the show. Now they want to go in. And get mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Good. And you're get good. mad when you when you ask for an open relationship. Hmm. Like it's just do a, a freaking open relationship. There's but no need to cheat. I don't even think. Well. After being married for 20 years, and I'm divorced, I never cheated in 20 years. I didn't. So you can be in a relationship and not cheat, or a marriage, or whatever one you want to call it. But because of how that went, I don't even believe you're supposed to be with one person for the rest of your life. You and I had this conversation. Yeah. I do think it should be a contract that you can renew right. or not renew. <laughs> and that would cut down on the divorce rate and so many people cheating. I mean, I understand from a spiritual standpoint, exactly. you're supposed to be together for the rest of your life. But that's really not how, how the world we live in anymore. I, I get it. I understand it that you're making that commitment. But it, the divorce rate, will, and it's so hard to get a divorce, especially and, in Maryland. I, exactly. And we had a comment. If you want an open rela- relationship, don't get tied down. That's true. And I told you, I mean, I agree with that, Winfrey, because if you want to be in an open relationship, why even get married? Because some of us still believe in monogamy. Some of us still believe in the sanctimonious, sanctimoniousness mm. of marriage and believe in the, the whole thing. So why? Even, I think that's where I have a problem. Because if I get one more married man, sent married man, send me an inbox or asking me to this, I'm tired of it. Did You're married. Dick pic? Did they drop you a dick pic? Uh, <laughs> I'm not answering that. Dude, I have a lot because my mama mission. just called me. I am not answering dude, that. Dude. I'm answering that. I have a lot of friends in open relationships, a lot, and mm-hmm. not just here, at like all different places. And most of them are in the open relationship because they still do everything you would normally do and not an open relationship. They're just allowed to step outside of that relationship and go have sex with other people. But I that's think pretty if much that the, works that's what for they're you, doing. If right. that works for you, then that's your but then that's a new world of quote unquote being accepting. But this ain't no this ain't no open relationship. You just sneaking around. Right. But I'm you, not mm-hmm. going to be a part of that. But you know what? It's it's two things that I, that I want to say real quick. Mm-hmm. A is most 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 people don't know who they are. And don't know what they want. I have to agree with you. That's A. And B, people never take into consideration that with time, it's changed. How I feel about something in 2015, I might not feel that same exact way in 2016. So therefore, and, and the ladies will agree, that's where the communication piece come in. Mm-hmm. As, your, as your value system evolves, you have to communicate that so you stay out of the Stay out of them. Uh, what's the dude that got the high grits? Um, Al, Al Green. Al Green. Stay out of them Al Green situations. I, I cannot. Because cheating leads to violence sometimes. It does. It leads to a terrible violence. Someone getting shot. Someone getting killed. Either you or your mistress or your jump off. It it leads. To, it's so much emotion tied into something. One, if if I think I'm the only one. If wow. that really hurts, if I'm so naive and I'm thinking that I'm the only person that you with, and then I'm blindsided by the fact that I'm not, it make, it makes you want to just hurt somebody. So why cheat? If if you know that someone's willing to accept you, and if you tell them, look, I'm, I know I have a loose dick or a loose vagina, and I'm gonna fuck other people. It's tell called, that person it's, it's, up I've front. heard it's called Yanni now. Yeah, Yanni. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Tell them up front. Because if if they say they can't deal with it, then you can find another person who can deal with it. But it's better to do that than hurt the person and cheat on them and make them violent, lose their mind, and hurt you and, right. and that person you're cheating with. And I think a lot of times people stay in those relationships that they don't even like because they are afraid of being alone. Mm-hmm. How? I mean, because, I mean, that's just like real talk. They're scared to be alone. Um, but I guess it, that still goes back to you don't know yourself. Yes, sir. I think it's part of being alone. Mm-hmm. Some are financial and some dealing with sex. Sex make you sometimes stay with people. Okay. If 
financial reasons make sometimes make you stay with right. people. Right. And like you said, they don't want to be alone. Make you stay with people. I'm going to say a sentence and then I'm, I'm going to give you some. So the sentence I want to say is, through my own inabilities to accept personal responsibility, I actually create my own problems. Right? Okay. That's first. And then once I start to understand that and how it relates to my feelings and emotions, then I, I can get better with whatever's going on. But when I meet women and they show interest in me, you know what I tell them? Okay. Off the top. You don't want to fuck with me. You say, man, listen, down the line, a couple of months, you're going to be all fucked up mad at me. So just go ahead. Just go ahead. If you want bump and grind, let's bump and grind, but then go ahead. And they never do. Because cause women always want to help somebody. They want to well, save the somebody. Way. I mean, men are the same I, way. I've, since I've been single... And even when try to, you know, just to have friends, you can't even have friends. Like, they want to change the dynamics of our situation. Mm -hmm. When I told you I'm happy single for a reason. Right. I want to be single. I'm not looking for a relationship. And you didn't, you changed our relationship into a relationship that was just supposed to be a friendship. Because they don't call And then feelings. I'm the bad guy. Right. 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 And I got to dump you and block you until you never call me again. Facts. In life. But you know what? I think that goes down to a lot of women, for lack of a better statement, do think like men. But a lot of men can't accept a woman that thinks like that. That, yeah, that like is that. open. Mm -hmm. That says that. I don't like that. I don't, I'm just I'm just here for one thing and one thing only, and that it is what it is. They can't handle it. So then you do get in a situation mm -hmm. where the man is called feelings, and you like, but but I told this is what you. we told right. you. Right. Come to play nice. Every we guy, <laughs> every guy I sleep with, we're in a relationship. Just let y'all know. I don't like it. Well, I can't definitely can't say that, but <laughs> I had some relationships last night, though. As soon as we had sex, we married. In my mind, we you know in a what? relationship, we get married. Uh, that is hilarious. But you know, that's what we have to start thinking about, and it goes back to the whole premise of being acceptance and not playing the games that quote unquote people play. And not to sound like a pun, but I think the biggest thing here and tonight, if you got nothing else, yes, we've had fun. Yes, we talked about some situations and some topics that you wouldn't normally talk about but y'all we got to talk about it because if we don't talk about it how can we accept it and move on because if you don't know if you don't play the game if you don't go out and wink wink and all that stuff because y'all i don't know how to do that i don't even know how to wink i don't know how to like do all this stuff that they be talking about well you ain't give no sign what sign do you give you know so it's like <laughs> you're so, southern bell you know no really i don't i'm the worst that ever did it see but me anyway, after the show uh, you know what? See, this is why some folks don't, they just clowning all up on the good live radio. But, y'all, if nothing else, I won't, I'm glad that you had fun tonight. Y'all, tonight's show, we really probably need to do a part two because this was getting hot and juicy, but it is time for us to go. So, crew, from Adult Conversations, how can they find you? How can they get, how can they see your show and be able to log in with you guys? Sunshine. You can find me on Facebook for about another 200 friends. It's Sunshine <laughs> Space Aces, A-S-I-S. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at Sunshine Aces. You can email me, sunshine at adultconversation.com. Thank you, Winfrey. Winfrey said, great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Yo, and of Can't course, you them. know, huh? They got fine candy. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. They got to tell, because they got a whole lot of stuff, because I told you, they real radio people. I'm just, <laughs> you can just I'm just here. If you're looking for any of us, you can go to our Adult Conversation page. Um, uh, www.adultconversation.com. <laughs> oh, yeah, they um, got an app. They good and grown. Um, ain't that grown yet. <laughs> with a K, you can go to our app, um, Adult Conversation, on the Google Play Store or, or iTunes. Or you can look us up on Facebook, Adult Conversation, Twitter, A Conversation, and Instagram, Adult Conversation. I love it. So, guys, it's been fun. It's been real. I got another hot show coming up after me. Get ready for the Lounge Boys. Y'all, I think I said that right. Did I say that right, y'all? Lounge you Boys? Yeah, right. I did. See, they already here. Because normally, I'm rushing out of here when they running in, too. So, you know, but tonight, I want y'all to stay logged in. Because they be talking about some juicy stuff. Because normally, they come in with bottles and cups and ice. And I think <laughs> I saw some ice coming through the door. So, this I don't know what they're doing on their show. And I know you didn't want to see no ice on this show tonight. Because it might have went so somewhere that you probably didn't want to go so make sure that you are logging in find me on facebook find me on twitter find me on instagram you can find me everywhere even on my webpage at conversations deborah franklin y'all it's been real it's been fun have a great one love you to life Clear. thank y'all all right guys thank you